Ciao guys and welcome to Lempis. In this video, I'm sure you can tell already from my dress today that I'm going to talk about something very close to my heart. Our experiences at, at the, the village. village. So basically, you know, I w we just wanted to reflect on our experiences at the time that we have spent at the village during our Easter holiday, village food, the village people and the love that they showed yeah. us, like the sunset every evening and the sunrise every morning, like privileges that we don't have here anymore like when you're living in europe you don't see this there are too many buildings spread. they are covering everything yeah so that's what we are going to talk about let's get there you know also why do i get uh, along so well at the village because many people have commented that how does ale goes really well is so accepted about uh, being at the village yes we are going to touch that as well so but before we get to that guys if you are new here Give us a like, subscribe, and most important, guys, leave a comment. We would also like to hear from you what you think about the village videos. Do you enjoy that or do you prefer when we just sit in our apartments and record? But anyway, even if you don't like the village, you're probably going to be going to the village. It's, it's home. Yes, and, yes. And we are going, definitely going, <laughs> going to, to go, go back. back. But I hope you like it. If you don't like it, maybe we'll just not film as much as we are mm. doing when we go there. Yeah, so... Uh, you, I, I think everybody is curious and interested just to know, like, how, how, why do you get so, you just enjoy the village as if you were born there? I mean, I was born in the countryside. No, you were born in Rome, babe. I was born in Rome, okay, that's true. <laughs> but when I was six, I moved to the countryside and uh, I'm my family is actually living like in a small town that is 40 kilometers away from uh, from Rome where we actually got married and uh, growing up I was always like uh, outside uh, running in the forest building things uh, uh, playing with tools uh, uh, also having animal because of course we also have chickens uh, we cats, we dogs. have cats we have dogs uh, but you never had cattle we never had cattle <laughs> okay never. yeah but we we had like vinya which is like a plantation for grapes ah, okay. i know how to to drive a tractor i know how to plumb a field i know how to do all this kind of stuff so it there is on that on that matter for me it was really so not a problem at all yes also brought up so many memories for you being there yeah because your definitely. parents have also uh, they're not working the farm as much as they used to do back in the days. No, they're so. not. Yeah, for me, being at the village brought back so many memories. It's, I have been going to the village every, let me say, every year when I went to Namibia, I went to, I also went to the village. But for this is the first time in 10 years I went home during holiday time. Mm -hmm. So that's why you saw so many children in the videos because yes. my nieces, my nephews, my cousins, they were all on holiday. And what I liked most mm -hmm. about going to the village, when I'm there, I invite all my cousins to come over, yes. spend a week, very enough time with me and mm -hmm. we just chill. So you can cook, you know, like for so many people, Amazing. you can sit and tell stories. Ah, it, it was so nice. Part. You that's know, it was part. it was really really nice, and it was so nice also to see the interaction with people because in our days, I think mostly in Namibia, the villages are populated by two kind of people: the eldest, especially like in the rural area, the eldest. And then the kids, maybe when they are not going to school or where, when they are on holiday, and they see also how the elders are so happy when they during the holiday time uh, to have other people around the house because people of our age, uh, they are always moving now in, uh, in, the in, in the cities to find jobs and to have like houses, more money, and also visiting your grannies from both your mother and your father's side was an amazing experience. They have so much wisdom, you just need to look them in the eyes and they have spent, like they have seen everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> like your granny has grandchild, 
and uh, I don't know, you know, you are almost reaching 90, you had 8 kids, uh, they, your kids has given kids and the kids of your kids <laughs> have given kids I and know. given born to other kids, I don't know, I just, I, I, I don't even understand how your granny can really keep count of what <laughs> all no, the but of course, and nephew. You did miss out some people already, but I just wanted to ask you, what, what is your favorite part? Of being being at what did you enjoy the most? Like if you everything in together, like people and the nature. Like ah, okay, the landscape. The landscape is absolutely amazing and something completely different of, from what I am used to because um, Namibia and especially it's Sunday where you are from is relatively uh, flat, flat area. But it's, a, it's a savanna with it's, it's a savanna with acacias. Right? Yes, with yeah. acacias and a lot of uh, also palm trees. Apart from that, the things that really left me left a sign in me was uh, getting to know the people from the village, like their kindness. They are so welcoming every time. Every time I was meeting a new person, they were so nice, uh, asking me. Where, where, where I was from, offering me drinks, meat, uh, oh, meat. meat uh, taste this one. Uh, <laughs> no, let's uh, like when you are visiting, for example, when we visit some neighbors, they always like uh, when you leave the house, they always give you some present, to even take though with, like, like, to yeah, take with yeah. like a calabash or uh, any kind the of caca, something, the more caca, worms, more something worms, you get some meat, you get always or food chicken. or drinks. And that was, I mean, something that really filled my heart to see this uh, culture of giving, giving. The people are so giving, I don't know, it's really amazing. What, it, what instead represent to you go back to your roots and get back to th this kind of routine now if you have seen our morning routine like of waking up, feeding the chicken? I have been always going to the village and I would spend also a lot of time in the village. but. In this particular time, in a long time, I went there when it was school holiday. The yes. difference is before, to, there, there are two differences. Before my mother was working mm -hmm. and now my mother is on pension. And also yes. this is why we went because we just wanted to be there with her. She just turned 60 and we thought, let's, let's yes. go and celebrate. And actually we need to do a trip with her now. Yes. We don't need to, but we want to. And so my mother was at home full time. That's why I thought it was very special. And then everybody, my nieces, my cousins were on holiday, mm -hmm. different. But the other stuff like uh, waking up every day, fetching water and all this, th those things are always there. The different part is really like having just lunch with everybody else, and the breakfast kids. with all the kids that was beautiful. The dancing part, I mean, you all have <laughs> seen the <laughs> how we were dancing and I will link it up here. Uh, those was beautiful another thing also that was very special to me my other grandmother is a little over 100 years yes. old was so ah, it was impressed. very nice and you know she was actually um the, the first day we went to her place she asked mm -hmm. us uh, um if we came back to the village looking for a farm so we don't leave yes. far away from the family so this is the first like oh you're here to look for a farm so you don't have to live far away from the family. Would, would you, if we were living in Namibia, would you mind having a farm I'm, next to my parents' I farm? mean, if we are living in Namibia, yes, why not? I mean, not living uh, and, all the time there, no. maybe, but for sure having a piece of land and uh, have the opportunity to cultivate uh, uh, would and be nice. Christmas, go there for, for Christmas. For Christmas. Yes, and we can always, like, uh, when we are not there, we can always ask maybe... Somebody. Some somebody from your family to live there, and then when we are we have free times, we go there to visit but your parents. You know we are Africans. Mm -hmm. You never just stay in your house yourself. There mm -hmm. are always people in the village, and so if so, this is for example, couple who don't have uh, children mm -hmm. for any reason, they don't live by themselves. At least you can ask the neighbors, so the neighbor can say, "Okay, yes. I have eight kids. I'm giving you maybe one child." So it's just not the the two of you at mm -hmm. or your neighbor who have no space. You say, yes. "I'm coming." So it's you are never there by yourself. It's very fine. For me, living at the village, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't mind living there. 
Mm -hmm. And I think most people wouldn't mind living at the village. The only problem at the village is that there are no jobs. You, uh, looking at also how many, for you, you have noticed how many people you knew before from my family and how many more you have added to them. <laughs> my this. goodness, I actually have to make a list <laughs> now. Uh, but I understood the structure, your family structure really well. Like from your father, I know less people from your father's <laughs> side and more people from your mother's side, but I mean... From the father's side, everybody's a little bit older, so mm -hmm. they were not at home, they were at work. But from the mother's side, I had all the, my youngest cousin, we are, my mother is older and then my uncles are younger. And so everybody, most of them were on holiday. But you know, for us, family is not uh, mother and father and my sister. For us, family is mother, father, mother's cousin, grandma, grandma's sister, grandma's cousin, grandma's cousin's children. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. 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 But, but that's how it is. And though all those people, when you have a wedding, it's family and it's beautiful that we all come together to celebrate or when you need help, they are there for you. That's beautiful. Anyway, apart from the highlight that we have mentioned so far, like there is another thing that we was absolutely amazing at the village. Mm -hmm. Ah. Nyama. Village food, no, village food in general. Oh. Yes, that was really nice. I mean, Malavu, all no, the really, traditional drinks. drinks. Yes, okay. But yeah, for me, food and drinks are yeah, the like same the thing, same okay. because when you food. go there, you have all the, <laughs> the village food experience, let's call it like that, where you get served these traditional drinks and there are so many you have to learn, uh, like there is uh, Oshikundu, or Malavu, or Tumbo. Or tumbo. Mm. But otombo is not something you should be drinking. Yes. But there is otombo. But I think something you should try that you haven't tried is okanyatau. Okanyatau? Yes. It's what a, is that? Uh, it's like something that you made from the leftover from the traditional beer. And it's a little fermented something. That so it's, more, it's stronger mm, in terms of alcoholic very light. content? No, it's very light. I think okay. it permits about four to six hours. For the next time. Yeah. Um, at home we had a lot of stews, which mm -hmm. is the traditional, but if you just, when you went to the small town nearby, uh, we were having like grilled meat for breakfast. Ah, yes. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh. Matangara. Oh, Matangara. Matangara is one of my favorite, I have to be honest. Triple. Matangara and the liver. I just fell in love with the liver. From Kapana. From Kapana. Ooh, I can eat that all day. <laughs> We're going back very soon, baby. Don't you worry. But it, it's the food is absolutely amazing. And the meat is like 100% bio. There is nothing. No antibiotics. Do they vaccinate the, uh, the animals? They do vaccinate the animals. Okay. At least once a year. They do once vaccinate. Animals. But they don't do... Put hormones or, or they this, grow faster. They have like vaccination faster. against... And, no. Just, you know, if somebody in the village, for example, somebody like my grandmother, mm -hmm. would never eat the chicken that you buy in the store. Mm -hmm. Never. The smell is terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, yeah. The smell is terrible. And in most cases, the texture of the meat is weird. Yes. Like the chicken meat like a few, few, few days ago, he ate like bread. Mm -hmm. It is bad. But at the village, people, when they save you the chicken, they save it with respect because they understand the amount of work they put in in raising, you know, the chi yes. chicken. And also, also everything they produce, basically. It's also Mahangu, the amount of work they put in making Mahangu, making Marua oil. So when they save you that, they save it pride. Mm -hmm. You should enjoy it. And yes. I'm happy that you, for you it comes natural and you love this I thing. love new food, new My culture, mother was a little so. bit worried and was like, yeah, maybe we should take pasta for us. Yes, <laughs> rice. Rice. No, thank you. Please bring, bring me the the mara ekaka. Thank you. Marathon chicken. I think another thing that I, I enjoyed was also... I think you had a, an amazing time with the boys. Yes, that was really nice also. Uh, they were always following me and they were so curious about all the gears, like well, the, uh, drone. the drones, <laughs> especially the drones was like uh, uh, like huge toys, can you imagine the boys from the village? Okay, two of them were not really from the village, like, I mean they already knew that what a drone was, 
but other boys from our neighbors they were looking at these things like flying uh, with a witchcraft. camera that you can see yeah. from your phone and we were like what mm, what this is witch. this guy doing <laughs> you For know sure. but it was nice we were all, was also playing around and let them um, move make like, their own yes, clips and stuff all uh, clips with the beautiful. drones it was nice it was nice for me while you were playing with the boys i was with mini me oh yes <laughs> keeping me busy which one there of the two? No, Hope, obviously, the older one. But also, uh, also Laura. The, Laura. Uh, Laura is such a character. That's why I think she's more like you than anybody else in the house, probably. Yes, but of course, <laughs> uh, when it comes to having a conversation, ah, I, yeah. you know, I enjoy talking but, to Hope and stuff. But, but you know, the strong character is like, no, <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. No, there is no way that you can... Uh, but also, she was giving us a uh, very, very busy. I think we we'll had some videos if we have. We couldn't sleep in the afternoon, for example, because mm -hmm. Laura was just like not letting us sleep. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it's watching all the time. But there was also something very funny in the village. Mm -hmm. So my grandmother, who is ah yes, it was very, weird. <laughs> I was very feeling old. Uh, guilty. Yeah, um, in the end. It did, said some things that were very unpolite. I mean, not intentional. As an old person who cannot remember things very well, yeah. when we went to the village, we went with my cousin's car, and because we didn't have any yes, more parking, we didn't have any more parking space in our house. And my cousin lived with my grandmother. We had to go park it there. There was already parking yeah. space. And just like neighbors, they are really close yeah. to each other. You can like shout, and my grandmother would answer. <laughs> yes. So we parked it there. And few, let me say, at the end of our stay, we went there to pick up the car so we can pack and go back to the city and come back to Germany, obviously. And I don't know, just it didn't even take some minutes later or an hour later, I went back to my grandmother to say goodbye, official goodbye, we're leaving. And she was like, hmm. hmm. Where is that white person? Uh, just something like, like you know, you know, she bumble like Oshilumbu. Where is that white person? Mm -hmm. I know it's from your father's place. Just came from that direction. And I was like, why? Because he stole our car in a bicycle. They didn't even have a bicycle, but it was like, yes, because there was a car there in our house, and I know it belonged to this house, and he came and he stole it together with the bicycle that was parked <laughs> next to the car. <laughs> you know why? Because I, that is actually Aunes' car, so uh, I know. the car is always parked there because Aunes, when he's visiting, is always living in the car at your grandmother's place. I know, I get what you say, but it's just like very funny how she couldn't... Uh, over 100 years. Over yeah. 100 years. Uh, yeah, we have to do a special video. We don't have many clips from her, unfortunately, but it would be nice to... Maybe yeah, maybe if we, find, if, we, if we find some clips, I think I did record some stuff with my grandmother as well. We'll share that with you. But that was very funny. My, we were really laughing because yes. she, she, she said this story to me when I came there, when I went to see her. Then my auntie came and was like, Oh, let me tell you something interesting. This person from <laughs> my father's here was like from Lempi's father's house came here and stole the car. <laughs> so, <laughs> like what? Yes, he's not a nice person. <laughs> but yeah, okay. that is. I was like a beautiful memory. Mm -hmm. And and for me, it amazes me to see somebody who is over hundred years mm -hmm. active. Yes, yes, she was cooking, dinner, cooking. Can, yes, Can you imagine? Very, very active. I, I, just I was so impressed. She, she bends like... A, <laughs> yes, things that you know. can't even do in I yoga do when that. people say touch your she feet. Was, she was like, cooking ah. on the ground, <laughs> yeah. basically, with mahangu, steaming mahangu <laughs> porridge on the ground on the open fire. At that age, I don't know. Yeah, but you, you have to understand that when you just live at the village you do this every day so it's uh, your body is uh, flexible mm. i was also surprised because i saw my mother doing that i saw my grand doing that and like i don't do that anymore it's very difficult for me don't. i only do it in the yoga class or in the zumba when we are stretching mm -hmm. at the end and it's still i swear it I mean, when i reach for my feet cannot even speak for me like five minutes in the yoga position and i cannot walk for <laughs> 
for for the rest <laughs> so of the day. So when you go visit Namibia and you are a tourist, you will never get to know this. And this is, I think, in my opinion, one of the most special part of visiting uh, an African country. An African country, like village experiences, getting everything is like culture. getting to know to know the culture is knowing the people i mean i feel really lucky that i had this opportunity so i have to do i have to say a big thanks to you and to your family so guys that was it from us today i just i hope you like this video and if you have some more questions about village experience in africa in let particular us let us know in namibia and again you know this content is very close to my heart in particular i yes. love I love Amazing being content. there. I enjoy being there. And if there's anything, you know, there's a whole lot of secret when it comes to cooking that we still haven't shared. If you're interested in that again, yes. let us know for our next vacation. We can ask my mother now that she's on pension to yes, teach us she some was making stuff. bread. Yes. But that's not even she did this bread which was buried under the the other Chopo Makara, which was like Oshikwila, Chopo Makara. How do I say that in English? pancake on the charcoal under the charcoal something like that yeah so see you in our next video and again if you like this video please share with your friend we appreciate your support ciao 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 bye